Reports many of the neighbors in Toronto's conservative Don Mills don't seem to mind. Do not adjust your set. Quite a sight. That's right. It is a blue house you're seeing. Fall down. There are wacky shapes and they have awesome colors. I like them. Two similar buildings are going up on the site. That's the main entrance here of the building. We have. They were both designed by architect Zach Ganim who grew up in the shadow of the Great Pyramids. He sees architecture and art elements. as one. I start with a piece of sculpture rather than just a typical cookie-cutter housing project. Mm. To start out with, I find it quite, uh, quite interesting the way this... Real estate uh, broker Nick sits. Bernhard commissioned uh, the $600,000, 3,000-square-foot buildings. One he will use as his dream home, the other he plans to sell or rent. This particular uh, house I like about, there, there are no square walls, no square rooms. Everything is, is on a curve. One of the biggest challenges was getting the plans approved by the North York Building Department. They hadn't seen anything like it before. Some other concerns were voiced by neighbors. And no doubt those opinions will continue to flow as both homes head for completion in the next few weeks. The second house will be covered in brilliant red stucco. Who said Canadians were dull? Therese Sears, Global News, Don Mills. That look like Dr. Seuss creations are going up in a Don Mills...